Welcome in MacGyver Engineering. Today I decided to, uh, actually not today, actually this is something that is going on for many days, but I didn't really uh, thought about making a video about that. And then I get into idea of like, like you know, I will make a before and after because I'm not really into um, this thing particularly strong and I'm not planning to be uh, somebody's guide to it. There's much better channels. I will link one underneath uh, with uh, proper courses, you know, you can uh, where you can apply to, to learn that stuff. I will just show you my um, futile attempt, <laughs> let's say, uh, to uh, do something in that fashion. Uh, this is a couch. Uh, uh, the front seat of my Nissan and um, as you can see by the condition of the foam it looks awful terrible and so on this is the actually the upholstery that was over there and um, <laughs> um, it, it's better if you didn't see the original state because it was disastrous um, this foam is um, as you can see also in a really bad condition um, I'm not planning really to um, let's say rebuild that foam um, I just let's say filled up this over here piece because it was filled with um, emptiness basically <laughs> there was a big hole underneath so I fill it up with the foam I put some padding so, so it will be fill the up then I'm gonna scrape it to to uh, bring back the the original shape more or less and then I'm gonna put some uh, leather on top yes actual leather and it's not that I'm being so um, you know superfluous into in this that I decided suddenly to put leather on that I just simply found some old couch on the rubbish place so I took it I pick it up and uh, yeah the brown stuff is uh, real leather uh, the white stuff is actually also from another coach that was found on the uh, in the rubbish um, it's a high quality um, artificial leather it's on a felt so uh, it doesn't rip and um, this is this is how it begins basically I already have prepared the back side of it but um, I think it's better if you will see the end result uh, I'm using my um, uh, singer machine which by the way <laughs> was also picked up on the, <laughs> on the rubbish place and this puppy is fantastic. I, I really love it. Um, it uh, my seams are not really professional by any extent of imagination. Uh, I use quite strong nylon uh, thread, so I hope it will hold uh, for another couple of uh, years, maybe decades. So uh, when I will, let's say. Um, be more resourceful and rich in the future, of course, as all we will be, um, then I will probably do a proper upholstery on that. Uh, I like this car. Uh, the sewing machine didn't have much problem of going through this thickness over here, which is basically two layers of sky and uh, or, or uh, artificial leather and one layer of leather. Um, it started to have some problems over here it, it basically couldn't uh, go through this like you know let the needle through but once it started it actually st uh, went uh, pretty smooth which is basically two layers of leather plus two layers of um, this this fabric that will hold it into place it's also quite a stiff fabric it's from a uh, basically um, window curtains shutters like black black lights block blocking lights completely yeah so 
um, let's stop talking and uh, I will show you the end result when it's ready. Okay, so now I'm heading towards the hospital to change my um, wrap from the finger. I just dropped the chair into the car and I think it's not looking half bad. I mean, of course, it would look so much better if I had a proper uh, equipment and two hands. Uh, but, you know, eh, I could basically start to brag that I did it with one hand. <laughs> yeah. Probably I will have to do some um, changes here on the back because this is not very strong. And... Uh, uh, there was some pieces that I supposed to sew together, but I didn't and they are not really holding as, as I wish they do, but there is no time for that right now. I have to go to hospital. More videos coming soon.